I was Alec Kinski with D1 Circuit and Prep Circuit here with Wesley and Christian, uh, senior Jalen Horde. Uh, coming off uh, a frustrating win here at the, at the uh, Music City Classic. Uh, take us through the win over Ensworth and uh, what you did to get the W. Uh, we started off kind of slow the first half. Uh, we were um, defending that well or rebounding the ball. And uh, so it was, a, it was a tight game until like the um, halftime. And we came back with a little bit more energy, but uh, we kept it close throughout the game. But I felt like we made big plays and uh, played together as a team and that helped us win. They really slowed the ball yes, down. They, they yeah. slowed the pace of play. They were taking one, two minute possessions. Yeah. How do you handle that? How do you cope with that? Um, it's not too different from North Carolina. A lot of teams do that because we're a good team. And if we like speed them up, it's going to be a blowout. So uh, they tend to hold the ball a lot. So we kind of used to it. And uh, I don't think it was that much of a difference from usual. So. Speaking of talented teams, you ran with yeah. Team CP3 on the Nike EYBL circuit. Take us through that experience and what it meant to you. Uh, it was fun. Um, First session was kind of rough. It was a totally different competition from high school. It was real tough. But then I adjusted to the style of play. Um, playing alongside Kobe White, Richon Black, guys like that, it was real fun. Felt like I learned a lot and got way better. So, What was the biggest eye-opener, you know, that first session you mentioned? Uh, just the physicality. Like in North Carolina, guys are much more shorter and uh, not as strong. Uh, you get to the UIBL, it's like seven feet guys, things like that. So it's way harder. Uh, players are m much more talented. and. Um, that was the main difference. Yeah. Where do you think that improved your game specifically, playing against that type of competition? Uh, just playing harder throughout the game. Uh, I had to come out and play, or you get, like, you get blown out in the UIBL. And then uh, just um, yeah, just playing harder, playing stronger, and faster. You played in the UIBL, but you were lucky enough to play on one of the best teams and the best programs in the UIBL. What was it like to play for Chris Paul's team? Uh, it was fun. Um, I think uh, starting at the Atlanta session, he came and coached us yeah. a little bit. Um, so like when you like sign the bench, he'll give you like a few tips, things like that, and uh, that was real fun, and uh, I was grateful for that. So, you're a five-star recruit. He also went to Wake Forest. You're going to Wake Forest. Did that play a uh, factor in your decision at all? No, nah, people people be um, asking me that a lot. It didn't play um, a factor at all. I mean, he was happy for me though when I committed, but uh, we didn't really talk about it before I committed to Wake Forest. So, no, I'm sure he wants the best position for all of his players. Yes, uh, Got a bunch of talent coming with you at Wake. Already got a couple of really strong freshmen there. How how excited are you to get there, and what are you looking to improve on most before you step on campus? I'm really excited. We got a good recruiting class coming in. And uh, just uh, getting better on defense, uh, rebounding the ball more. I think that helped me a lot throughout college. And then um, just coming in, using my versatility to help the team. I think that's the main thing I'm looking forward to do. I wait for it next year. Last question. You're of French descent. Uh, yeah. Do you take a lot of pride in, you know, representing France? Uh, yeah, I take a lot of pride. Um, my main goal is, like, to inspire kids over overseas to, like, you know, show them that you can make out here against the uh, Americans. Because uh, a lot of people think that, you know, you can't come over here in America and play and be successful. And I want to change that mindset. So, yeah. Well, you're going to uh, open a lot of eyes, I'm sure, along the way. This uh, is Ben Alakinski with D1 Circuit and Prep Circuit here with uh, Wesley and Christian Sr., Jalen Horde.